happening ladies and gentlemen in today's video I'm gonna continue from the previous uh, video that I made uh, regarding the uh, grid uh, making or grip parametric grid making for the rivet by using dynamo and in today's video I'm gonna try to add some dimension and automated dimension for those grids uh, it's basically uh, we need to depend uh, or actually just uh, continue from the previous file that I prepared uh, just reduce the amount of the horizontal and vertical grids uh, to be 5 by 5 and the gaps to be 5 and the overall length to be 30 by 30 so these are the settings if you are just uh, you know want to start exactly where did I uh, just change from the previous file uh, probably in order to add a dimension we need to add uh, a dimension uh, a command and um, the one uh, that we have to use is uh, dimension by element so, I, so this one not this one indeed so I'm gonna remove it so this is what I need and to have a look again it's a uh, it's a reverse or the inverse technique it's uh, just starting by the end of what you need to create in order to understand what the parameters you need to provide uh, suffix and prefix is uh, just a value you want to add before and after the dimension uh, like like uh, one for the example for example the number uh, it's gonna find and it's gonna add uh, a meter before or after or something like that the line is where you actually want to place that uh, dimension otherwise if you don't provide it will be exactly in the middle the reference element which is the elements that uh, rivet or dynamo need to measure the distance from two and the final thing is the view where is those dimension will be placed so uh, the view probably is the easiest one so if you go ahead and write views here uh, I'm gonna get you this fair and easy and uh, you get your level so I'm gonna place level one so technically whatever, whatever this level is and just connect it and the second thing you need is to have a reference element and of course you're gonna think of this guys right which is the grids you're gonna you're gonna have and if you place those as such and run it's uh, just defined uh, immediately actually the amount of uh, levels uh, sorry the amount that actually just create for us the levels that we want straight forward and connect the beginning of that element to the next one and so on and so on so uh, let's flex this and let's see if we can do flex that so instead of four uh, distance between the elements and the number five sorry uh, instead of five by five for the vertical let's make three here and then we hit run again and by doing that it's going to give you an error message again in here and uh, it's just uh, some of the dimension is actually been uh, missing so all, what you do is in here uh, I'm just gonna go change that to level 2 and then run that and then get it back to level 1 and run it again and here we go you know it's uh, technically we have the dimension is placed in the proper place here and problem solved uh, a little bit of annoying issue I didn't yet figure it out but if you change this you know and run that it's gonna disappear and give you this warning message as the dimension by element operation failed and the references are not a geometrical references parameter name reference so some of the references actually has been deleted while the dimension uh, or rechanged or recalculated or I think redefined as a new element. I'm not really figuring figuring this out yet, but I found that easily if you change the level, hit run again and get it back to the level you have. Run it. You're gonna you know create the the level that you 
actually required uh, straightforward so now the only one thing missing is that you need to define the place for those elements or for those dimensions and of course you won't place them in the middle of the whole document you should place them you know like an offset distance away from the beginning so we need to understand uh, that this is defined by a line so you need to start point which is technically will be this point and the end point should be something like you know the end of that point but with a distance with an offset so because if you're gonna place it here you're gonna be ugly like hell you know so you need some distance from this point here let's say in the middle and some distance from here in the middle so we have this defined as we said before as an offset value so probably if you take this value and divide it on 2 for the start point and then do take the same value and divide it by 2 for the end up value you're going to define that a line for us that we want and you place those guys in here fixing this problem permanently so what we need to do now is to get those start point and end point of those guys you know so where's the list uh, of point here it's actually so if I open those points uh, this is my list and as you can see those the points has been highlighted so that's what we are technically looking for so we need this guy okay and we need that guy so in here you cannot technically uh, you know get the first index or ju just use get index 0 and then get index 3 because the value here is a totally different probably the beginning will be the same but the end will be different so you can't call it by you know pre knowing that this is 3 or 4 or 5 because this is a parameter that can change when you change you know when you change this number so you need to go ahead and call for list dot first item instead of get index just to do just to explain why I didn't get get index and the same thing with the end value so this is list dot end which is for some reason it's last probably yep last item sorry that's why I'm using first and last item instead of get index and define that by number because the first number has been identified by zero but the last is you know a parametric and different so I'm gonna get those two guys and I'm gonna have those points connected and then run that thing and by doing that as you can see I can get this number or this point and this point ready for me and when you change the main vertical number is going to be changed here too so that's cool so far we, we managed to get this point which is the beginning and this point which is the end of the thing now we need to you know place something in the middle so we need to divide the offset into two and we need to move those you know by the value of half of the offset so in order to move things we need to use the translate command and that's my best XYZ but it's, it isn't this one it's uh, it's uh, which one so that's a uh, mesh nope which is this one so that's the geometry translate and what I'm gonna do is just to connect that as the geometry hit control and move that to make a copy and then you know connect those geometry and so I'm gonna move the X sorry the start point again and I'm gonna move the end point which is this one as you can see so I'm gonna move them in the Y direction so I need to connect the Y so uh, let's say a divided on two so the same value for both of course because I need to push them exactly the same amount a will be the offset of course which is the distance from here to here 
or from this point to this point because I want the line to start from the middle to the middle so just connect this value in here and then run that thing and here we go that's the beginning and that's the end in the middle of this distance from here to here same thing for the end so that's my that's my lovely moving thing here now of course it's need a line so we need a friend here called line so just gonna steal that that's the beginning that's the end this is our line I just I'm just gonna make it you know viewable so that's that's my line so I'm gonna move that here I'm gonna run that thing and you can see that the dimension jumped immediately to this and of course you need to hide that from the preview now we need to flex so again let's make this uh, 6 or 5 or whatever then we're gonna run I know it's an annoying issue I need to figure it out so I'm just gonna change to any other view run it and then change it back see now we have one, two, three, four, five, and the dimension placed in here. And you can flex, go ahead and flex the offset value. So let's make this uh, four meter around that thing. And again, they're gonna disappear. So we have to do the thing. See. So now again, it's in the middle of the distance of this offset. So that's cool. So you can define this as a block, all right. So or group those if you want. Uh, just Control and G, and uh, whatever you want to call them, uh, you can just call them uh, offset line or dimension line, probably. And copy that guy down here. So. Technically, A on 2 will be the same, and we probably need to see those guys. Yep, those are the beginning, and that's the end. Beautiful. So, this is my first item, and this is my last item. This guy is the same, so I'm not going to change it. The line is the same, I'm not going to change it. So, probably we need a copy of this, same with you. We're not going to change the view, so keep the view. Reference element, the line is here, that's mine. And we need the reference element, which is the grid. Alright, so let's run that thing. And, yep, we found ourselves in a very wrong thing. Okay, let's fix this. So what is happening here guys, that's the beginning, this is the first point, beautiful, that's the end point, beautiful, so we've defined that correctly, but as long as we copy this from upstairs, it's pushing up, because you know, remember that we have this guy and we push in the Y, okay, so when we pick this guy, you have to push in the X, oops, so you have to make this an X and you have to put this in X and just cancel the Y and then run that thing and voila you know you get this correctly placed as you can see you know uh, another flexor probably to make things accurate so I'm gonna say it's 4 in X probably 6 in Y and I'm gonna make this a 35 all right, so let's run this machine. Yeah, everything gonna be messed up, so it's okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do the thing, then get that back, and then run it again. And you can see here, those are placed in the middle and automatically be generated and placed. And the same thing is been done here. So one last thing which I really hate is those, you know, the ability to create the end. Uh, let's have a look. It's uh, again. 
you have to control that individually here but uh, the beginning of the line again that's the that's this these are the points that's a one two three four and that value is the last value or actually it's in the code block it will be easier this is the 29th so that's the, the last point to be generated in X so you have to provide something bigger than that value so you can just choose the last item out of this let me try that I didn't I didn't even try that so last item so list dot last just try to figure that out which is really annoying so, so I'm taking this okay so let me run that so this is should be 29 yeah beautiful so the last item in those sequence of points will be great this one 29 so if that is the last thing I can just go ahead what I was doing wrong is just using the same node for both and that was wrong so again for the X which is those lines I just picked up the this sequence the last one and that's the last item 29 and then I just uh, add for it the amount of offset to get you know to get exactly the points where it should be ends here and I gave this to the X so the vertical guys start up by the amount of 4 instead of starting by you know the exact location or depending on the length and the other thing is here and you should take the list this one not the above one that's the that's the mistake that I've done and it should be giving you a 19 depending on those numbers and that's my list and again same thing A plus B when again A is the end up item of this list and the B is the same offset value so they will be equal and then you have to give this to the Y that's what messed things up for me in the beginning and that's it guys so you technically you don't need this anymore and you don't need that anymore and that's it guys I wish that you find this uh, tutorial useful and again uh, this will generate for you uh, the actual the actual number you need so for the vertical number let's say 10 and the horizontal number let's go maybe for uh, 8 and again I'm gonna just gonna change the view hit run and then get it back and then hit run again and as you can see the grid is working perfectly to make it 10 by 8 placing the dimension uh, automatically for you as you can see here in both axes and uh, it's uh, actually removing any construction line created everything has been placed once and for all you probably need just to pop in here and change those into A, B, C, D and those to 1, 3, 4 and uh, that's it uh, it's just happened with a couple of you know clicks you can change this uh, into one package and then you don't need to get yourself in this headache again and just keep using that whenever you want to start any project and create the X and Y grids as much as you want anyway thank you very much and I wish that you find this tutorial useful uh, bye bye thank you